What's going on everyone? KJ here and I want to talk about something that I feel kind of flew over a lot of people's heads today. The new DLC fighter for ARMS. Now, you know, rumors, uh, talks, uh, things have been in talks are saying, oh, ARMS is getting stale, it's getting boring. Now, I was actually on that train for a while because there was nothing left to do in the game. You know, once you play a little bit with all the characters, you know, you learn some, you learn how each character works, you find which arms work for you, play a couple matches online, see if you can find friends near you to play against. The game kind of gets boring, even if you go to tournaments and, and are competitive about arms as well. It's still kind of boring because there's no new fresh content being added until today. And in fact, this morning when I was um, going to... Like, uh, I had to take a test run to get from my house to my college, so I would have actually made this video way earlier today. I, I heard the trailer was uploaded, like, I don't know, 6, 7 a.m., probably even earlier or a little later than that. Like, very early this morning, but I just got back home, so sorry for the late video, but really wanted to talk about Lollipop, the second DLC fighter for ARMS. So I'm going to try to go over everything that I saw in that one or two minute trailer and all of this is going to be off the top of my head. So if I take a little while to get uh, catch my thoughts, you know, hey, this is the first time I'm doing a non-scripted video talking about something that falls in the lines of Nintendo Directs and such. So, you know, hey, excuse your boy, all right? But the first thing I want to talk about is the new stage. Now, a lot of the stuff revolving Lollipop, we haven't gotten a name for yet. Well, it, she might be, uh, we don't even know. They didn't tell us when version 3 for ARMS, the update, was going to come out. And I, it might be out right now. I just, I my Switch is charging. So if it is out, you know, pardon my, uh, like, limited knowledge on the subject. So first thing I want to talk about is the stage. So the stage actually looks very, very cool. Instead of most stages, like, in ARMS that are square or, well, most stages in ARMS are shaped like a square or something similar. Or maybe they're a circle, like Mimin's Ramen Bowl, circle. Excuse me, Springman's like Spring Stadium or something like that. Square. Most of the stadiums and arenas in the game are square or circle or a, a shape similar to that. So we finally get a stage that sort of has like sort of winding paths. Now I don't really, I couldn't really get a good look at the stage through the trailer because we were. Sorry, there was a car in the background if you heard that, but I couldn't really get a good look at the uh, stage very well because we were really focusing on Lollipop, obviously, but the stage looked like it had winding curves. Like, there was like a straightaway, then you turn left, and then there's another straightaway there. So it's sort of like, it's sort of like a, uh, I guess, sort of like a lightning bolt, but a straight lightning bolt. Uh, that's kind of like the best thing I can, I guess, say. But um, definitely awesome stage. Now, as far as competitive play, I'm not too big of a competitive arms player myself, but I do think that sort of like Kid Cobra Stadium, which isn't really too good for competitive play, this stage could not be on such the, could may not be on the good side revolving competitive play because it, it, you know instead of a straight straight just down to business stage like Springman's uh, Stadium, you have a stage that has winding curves and that may have that may give a, certain fighters a disadvantage and other fighters an advantage. So, but I could be wrong, you know, let me know in your comments below if I am wrong. But as far as single player and multiplayer, I do think this stage would be amazing to fight in. The next thing I want to talk about is all three of Lola's arms that we saw. So the first arm that we saw was nunchucks, which were very awesome because of course we haven't gotten nunchuck arms in the game yet. So I couldn't really, I didn't really, I couldn't, I can't really say this, like, I don't know if this is actually the purpose of them, but it looked like they can block attacks. Well, if they, you know, I don't know if, like, they're the same weight as normal arms or medium-sized arms, and that's why they block attacks, but they look like they could have some sort of, I guess, reflective ability, or maybe they just block attacks because they're nunchucks and they act like a spinning shield. But overall, the nunchucks are very cool. Can't wait to see what the names are for them. They may have something to do with sweets, because obviously Lola Pop is a mixture of a, of candy and a clown, which is amazing. But um, I guess before, I have very limited knowledge on the subject, so I can't really make too much conjecture as to what I what I think they will be or what they are. So the next thing, the next arm was sort of like a mixture between Kid Cobra's Hydra, which is the triple missile launcher, and Helix's Blorb, which is the thing that can make you go blind. Now, I really like this because, you know, sometimes like with um, Helix's Blorb, it's sort of hard to land hits because it's, you don't, you can't throw a punch like most arms. It always bounces on the ground if you've ever played with Helix and used Blorb. And Kid Cobra's Hydra is amazing to use because it gives you so much of a bigger opportunity to hit someone. You can't hit him. Like, if it was a one, 
hit one uh, missile launcher, it'd be hard, but it's three. So you have two more chances to hit the person. So combining those two, it pretty much is the same thing, but blinding the opponent, which is amazing. I love that combination. So instead of it blowing up, or in, when it hits the opponent, it can blind the opponent, allowing you to do a setup, maybe do a rush attack, a grab, try to do a combo, anything. I really like that. And the same thing I said before, can't wait to see what the name of this arm is as well. And definitely can't wait to test out all three of these arms when the character comes out. Or if she's come out today or tomorrow or whenever she comes out. The next thing I want to talk about is the final arm, which is sort of like Helix's Guardian, which... When it, uh, it stays in one place, of course, and then it'll actually hit you, and if it hits you, it stuns you. So, like, uh, with the, with the uh, stun effect, or the paralysis effect, whatever you want to call it. But this arm, the sh it's just a regular shield. And instead of it just blocking attacks, it reflects attacks back at the opponent. And I don't think we've ever had something like that in arms, ever. Now, imagine that go up against, I don't know, perhaps a rush attack. That would be amazing. Now... I don't know what y'all think of this shield arm, but I am loving it. Perhaps, I would say the ranking system of all three of Lollipop's arms, the shield arm is obviously at the top, then you have the triple blinding missile arm, and then the nunchucks at the bottom. But of course, that those thought, my thoughts about those could change, of course, once I get to play using those arms and mix them with other characters, and etc. Um, the last thing I want to talk about... Well, one of the last things I want to talk about... Well, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. The last thing I want to talk about is Lola Pop herself. So, obviously, the design is amazing. I can't wait to see what other alternate color she has. Um, maybe... It would be actually cool to see if she has something along the lines of Pennywise. Now, I'm certainly not into it. I don't like watching that movie at all. I don't like reading the book. But I do think that maybe a classic clown coloration would actually be really cool. And an another cool thing about her is, like, she inflates herself. Which is sort of like similar to Max Brass, but instead of it being like inflating just his chest to appear bigger, she inflates like her pants and I guess some part of her upper body. So she pretty much inflates herself like a balloon, which is so cool because not only does it have defensive properties, which I'm guessing because obviously if you inflate yourself, you could take less damage, but... In the trailer, we also saw that she can jump in the air, and that's really good because let's just say that a fighter, like an opposing fighter, throws an arm or throws a punch at you. You jump in the air, you could do a grab while one of their arms is out. You could you could throw a counter while one of their arms is out. You could throw both of your arms while that one arm is out. You could do a rush attack. Like, there's so many, like, openings to attack with that ability. That's so cool. And, of course, as you saw in the trailer, or if you didn't, in the trailer, she literally jumped up and did the rush attack from the air and that's really really cool you know because a lot of times you may need to do the rush attack in the air if you can't really do so on the ground so i like that about lollipop but um overall i love this character i'm gonna give it like a 4.5 out of 5 just because of course i have not played with the character yet i haven't gotten used to the stage i haven't gotten used to the arms i don't know the custom colors yet slash alternate colors but i'm liking what i'm seeing you know it, it definitely no let de look, sorry Definitely let me know your sorry for the voice crack. Oh, definitely let me know your thoughts on Lola Pop in the comments down below. What you think of her as a character, her like inflating and jumping ability, which is really cool. Um, her three unique arms, uh, her stage, you know, and anything else you want to talk about the character, you know. Um, but thanks for watching again, and I, I'm sorry if I really couldn't get to the point or process my thoughts as fast. I'm really working on trying to do non-scripted videos or use the script way less which i'm really definitely trying to do for my reviews as well but um thanks for watching again hope you enjoy this video um but yeah until next time because this video has been going on for almost 10 minutes long uh, until next time i'll see y'all later hope you enjoy playing with lola pop yeah i wanted to just you know yeah because i'm definitely gonna be playing as her but yeah for real this time i'll see y'all later